Hello, this week's theme is spitting and running. Is it something that you're comfortable with? Sending out a spit rocket while you're running? Um, I personally find it really gross when a runner does it right in front of me, but I also admit that there have been times when I've been on my own in a country lane where I have indeed got rid of a mouthful of spit into the bushes. So I wanted to explore this topic. I know it's a little bit of a controversial one with runners, but really what I wanted to think about was why is it that we end up with this mouthful of sticky spit when we're running? Um, what happens in our body? to make that the case that then means we want to spit. So just thinking about saliva, it's made in our salivary glands and we have three pairs of them in our head. We have our parotid glands, which kind of just in front of our ears. We have our submandibular glands, which are underneath our jawbone. And we have our sublingual ones, which are underneath our tongue. And they all produce saliva, which is made up of about 99% water, but also includes electrolytes, proteins, mucus um, and enzymes and also immunoglobulins because saliva has lots of different roles in our body. One of those is actually to help our immune system and to protect us against germs. It also keeps our mouth nice and moist and lubricated which helps our dental hygiene, also helps us when we speak and of course helps us to digest food and there are actually enzymes in our spit which help to start the digestive process. We have amylase which starts to digest starch the minute food is entering in our mouth. So it has lots of different roles and it's controlled by our nervous system, both our parasympathetic and our sympathetic nervous systems. Now when you sit down for a nice meal and you're feeling relaxed then the parasympathetic nervous system is what's triggered and it um, it causes large amounts of watery saliva to be released by the glands to start digesting and helping you chew your food. When the sympathetic nervous system is stimulated and this happens when you exercise saliva is still produced but the stickiness of the saliva changes for several reasons and we see in exercise saliva there is a higher quantity of protein. So let's think, what is it about exercising and that sympathetic response that means our saliva is thicker? First of all, as I mentioned, the protein quantity increases. We have less um, water in relation to the amount of protein that we have. And one of those proteins, MUC5B, the levels of that have found to be increased soon after, straight after exercise, which can cause that kind of dry mouth that you have often when you come back from a run as well. So first of all, as I say, the protein levels are increased. The composition of the saliva is a little bit different. Secondly, dehydration. If you're getting a bit dehydrated, a bit dry when you run, your body wants to retain water so it looks for ways to save it. And reducing the amount of water in your saliva is a simple and straightforward and quite a sensible thing for the body to do. So if you've got less water in your saliva, it can make it much stickier. The other thing that adds to that as well is mouth breathing. Obviously, when you're running, most runners, especially if they're working at high intensity, breathe through their mouth and that dries out the saliva um, and it, it, it dries out the mouth rather. And that means the salivary glands want to produce more saliva. But the saliva that is produced, that dries out too because the water in that saliva gets evaporated. So the mouth breathing can, can affect the, quant the, um, the, the consistency of the saliva directly. And it's possible that actually breathing cold air could directly affect the salivary glands and make them produce more mucus too. There's some research that shows that that is the case. So those three things really, the protein, the dehydration and the mouth breathing can all affect the stickiness and thickness of the saliva. And that's why when you're running, you do often end up with a mouth full of saliva that's hard to to swallow some people say it's even a little bit chewy sometimes um, and then the desire to get rid of it because it's hard to swallow you kind of want to spit it out I think we do need to think carefully about spitting it out at the moment in terms of COVID when we obviously want to be hanging on to and keeping private any of our respiratory secretions that we possibly can. Um, an alternative would be to spit it into a tissue, put that in your pocket and then find a bin to sort of safely dispose of that. So 
those are the kind of reasons why the saliva is thicker. I'm just wondering how you think about spitting and running. Do you do it? Do you never do it? Do you think it's completely gross? Perhaps you don't need to. I mean, we're all different. We all produce different amounts and thicknesses of saliva day to day and when we exercise too. So I would love to hear your comments. Um, you can find more uh, information on topics like this in my book Run Well explores this spitting um, in a little bit more detail and it also um, talks about why do you get an acidy taste sometimes in your mouth when you run so if you want to learn more about your body and what it's up to when you're running then please do have a look at my new book Run Well published by Bloomsbury um, and also give me a little follow on my blog drjulietmagratton.com where you'll get all these blog posts directly into your email that's all for now. Thank you. Bye.